Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today I will reveal something special to my heart. Now, you know me for reviewing really particular, I don't want to say crazy, but you know, collaborations with betwinks and between designers and other brands. So when it comes to sneakers, I will, you know, show some light up wing sneaker by Jeremy Scott or a bunny bounce boot by Raph Simmons with Adidas or a Yeezy by Kanye West. Well, or, you know, color collaboration, Chris Van Asch, all that stuff. Well, today I'm actually going to show a piece I love to be, I fell in love with it the second I saw it. And yet it is not a collaboration. It is not a limited edition. It is not something that uh, is or could be considered by many crazy, in a way. Now, none of these things ever are considered by me to be crazy, but I love them because they have a twist. This one also has a twist, but mind you, I think it doesn't have a twist that was thought through by the designers. It just so happened to have a twist by accident. Here it is, guys. It is an Adidas sneaker, classic box. It's uh, an Adidas equipment running support in a size UK eight and a half. Uh, let me tell you the uh, number, if you're interested in the sneaker, it's S32151. That's the code and um, through here, you can already perhaps, no, you can't see anything there. Oh yes, you can. There's a hint of what's to come. So it's a super classic silhouette. Actually, you can see here, this is the original, I guess, from 1993 from the Adidas archive. Here's a photo from the Adidas archive. Uh, very well uh, done uh, cardboard paper. Photo is very high de definition. Um, colors are printed out very well. So these cardboards are super practical for those of you who need to um, or who collect these this sort of sneakers with this shape. There's even a text in the back explaining the year of production, the colorway that was available back then, and the equipment series, and yada yada, what have you. This is your paper, the paperwork. Let's be very bureaucratic about it. And look at this. Now, <laughs> I'm loving this, you know, it's like suede. Wait, let me, how do I, let me take both out, put this box down. Here's the second one. I think this is the type of shoe that's either going to be loved or hated by many. Now, this is a classic 90s silhouette. It is very, in some countries, it's kind of like a macho ghetto sneaker. But of course, if you're going to go into this powder pink, it's not even pink, guys. It's powder pink because this is suede. It's a super soft, soft, powdery suede. Uh, and it's a triple pink or rose. It's like rose all the way through, from top to bottom. Um, adorable. I'm, I'm just totally loving it. Now, I'm loving it. Now, as I said, I think uh, Adidas, you know, made this shoe. They didn't realize kind of <laughs> that Super Deco might be interested in something like this. Um, it's something that you could consider like a, the silhouette is like this hyper macho male heterosexual normed type of sneaker. A lot of them, a lot of this type of guys are not going to like pink, but, um, or rose for that matter. But mind you, back in the days of the kings and queens of France, pink was a male color. All the boys were dressed in pink, not in baby blue or light blue. Pink and earrings. So things and perceptions of gender change throughout decades and centuries. What we perceive as hyper male today might be considered not male at all tomorrow. So be very cautious when you're judging somebody by what they're wearing or what color they choose to adorn themselves with. Because indeed, your perception should be your own. 
But unfortunately, most of the time, it's society and the structures we live in and that we grow in that completely norm us and completely force us into believing and thinking that certain things are taboo and certain things are must-haves. Try to eliminate that from your brains. Open the brain. Have like a tabula rasa, like a clean slate, and build on top of that ground zero that you create for yourself an imagination that is your own and try to free yourself from all of these superficial notions of what you are allowed or not allowed to like or wear because you want to norm yourself as a stereotypical this or stereotypical that. If you're watching my video here right now, you have either fallen into the trap of a genderless spider web or because you are already intelligent enough and you have made that step further and beyond the limitations of society and social norms and your mind is opening up already. And I hope it is. And yes, this is only a freaking sneaker review. I know. I'm very well aware of that something super superficial is going on here. And yet I'm trying to dig deeper. I'm trying to get underneath that veneer and that thin layer of superficiality, which is our norm society. And I'm trying to see something that goes beyond that. I'm trying to break the boundaries of pure and utter appreciation of certain things just for the pure and mere sake of them being normed as acceptable. I love the sneaker because in today's society, something that is considered hyper male also has that colorway that is not considered hyper male today. That twist and turn adds that pepper and zest to this product, which makes me love it because it questioned, it, I mean, it, it doesn't question things. It makes you question things. I, am, I bet you that a lot of guys are gonna be like, wow, great model, but that color? Is that for women? No, boo, it's not. This shoe is unisex, genderless. This shoe exists up to a size US 14 or maybe even 17 for all I know, depending on which country it's distributed in. So yes, this is a UK eight and a half. So usually Adidas produces in the female range up to UK nine in general. So this is still passable as male or female. But yes, I have seen the sneaker up to a size 13 UK. So that's a US 13 and a half at least. Um, it's also rose on the inside. There is no fooling around here. There is no black on the inside or blue to make it more male. No, it's rose inside and out. Triple, quadruple, quintuple rose. And I'm loving it. Comfort wise, it ain't a boost. It's not a pure boost. The technology is obsolete. This ain't the technology we use today for running, but it's still comfortable enough to say you could wear it all day long. It will not hurt you anywhere, uh, you know, on your foot, it's just, I would not jog with it. Let's just put it that way. It's called an equipment running support, but I wouldn't run in it anyway. I think nowadays the technology is obsolete that is in this shoe. So it is, it has become like a fashion statement. No matter whether or not you're wearing the original colorway from back then or these uh, new modern experimental colorways. So there you have it, guys. Yes, this, this started off as a regular sneaker reveal and a quick review, but there was a reason and purpose for it because I really want you all in to open your vision. You can be a guy, you can be a girl, and still just forget gender for a while. Wear what you love. Wear what makes you happy. Wear what makes your, you know, heart skip a beat because at the end of the day, that's all that counts. So guys, thank you so much for watching uh, the reveal and kind of review of this rose gorgeousness. There you have it. Uh, if you did like this video, please do thumb it up and share it with the ones you love. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And now remember, no matter how much they judge you for the colors you decide to wear or the shapes you decide to adorn yourself with, let them say whatever they want because they're just showing their ignorance. You, however, should never give up on love. Love you. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Princess Peach, what do you think about this pink shoe? Oh my god, I love it! Oh! That's it. Done.